When developing for multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, FireMonkey for Red Studio, Delphi, and C++ Builder provides a framework that allows you to code it once and reach multiple platforms with a single compiled native application. One of the major benefits of using FireMonkey is now within the control type. The control type allows you to specify whether you're going to use FireMonkey's GPU-driven control rendering, which allows you to easily add things like GlowFX to your controls for added usability, or if you'd rather use the platform controls on Windows and iOS. Now, choosing a control type of platform will use the platform control if it's available. If not, it will default to the styled control. This allows you to have a single code base that's developed that works seamlessly across different platforms. Let me show you. So we're going to create a new, plat a new application here. And we're going to add down uh, an edit control. Um, we're just going to have a look at the difference here between two edit controls. New within 10.1 Berlin is the grid as well, um, but this is uh, just a really nice easy to see, way to see the difference. On the second control here, we're going to change the control type from styled to platform. And you can see we get this little icon here to indicate at design time that this is a platform control. So rather than doing any fancy layout, I'm just going to go ahead and run this here and we can see we can type in work on both of them uh, right clicking the menus are slightly different because one is the native control and the other one is the styled control the styled control still provides all the default functionality like cut, copy, paste if we run out onto the iOS simulator we'll be able to see Let's just move those down here for a moment. We'll be able to see the difference on iOS as well. So here we can see the two controls. Um, we've got text coming into both of them. On the native one, we can see we have a much fuller cut, copy, select, select all, replace, define, share. On the native one, we just got the cut, copy, paste. Uh, if we come back here, let's just see the advantage of using the native. I'm going to put a glow effect down. And you could use one of these as uh, a simple way to highlight uh, a control that maybe hasn't been filled in, uh, rather than having to put text prompts and notifications up. If we go ahead and run this out onto our device again, we can see that the glow effect only renders on the styled control. So there we have it. That's a single code base running on two platforms here, but the same code will run out onto Android um, as well, allowing you to easily work with native controls across multiple platforms.